just let's quickly send you downstairs where skipper jim riggleman is visiting with the media let's see it's just not there yet is that what's kind of disappointing you were able to get the three runs on the pole <laughs> hamels get him out after the fifth and get jason back into the game and you just couldn't just couldn't give you enough yeah uh i thought um you know, once once we got back in the game, they immediately got on the board with Polanco and Utley. And Polanco, I mean, I, don't, I haven't seen a replay of the pitch, but it looked like a good pitch. It was a breaking ball. I, I, yeah, I think it was down and away. And, uh, you know, he's he's really swinging well, and, and he just uh, stuck it out in left field. Then Utley kind of hit a soft single there. And so uh, they um, jumped right back out there for a rally, you know. But I, I thought the quality of Jason's um, – uh, pitches were okay at that point, but uh, they were hitting him. Jim, you feel good. Well, we saw some highs and lows from Desmond. Mm -hmm. run double. He struck out a few times in the air. Is this just kind of what you're expecting that there's going to be a lot of this year? There's going to be a lot of highs and lows with him? I don't know. I'm not really going to put too many expectations. I certainly won't put any limitations on Ian. Um, he, he's playing fine. Uh, you know, that that's that's two balls in a row that he's gotten errors on that are just just kind of in between hops you know maybe uh you know somehow or another you know Viscale and ozzy smith and those guys somehow they 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 make that play but uh a lot of shortstops aren't going to make that play you know, last night also you know it's just it's just the in between hop that's the toughest ball to handle and it's it, it kind of handcuffed him but um you know he's playing fine. He he and Kennedy are turning double plays. They're they're really. I'm very satisfied with what's going on there. And as you saw, the uh, Ian swung the bat good against Hamels. A um, couple strikeouts against the right-handers. But uh, you know it's major league pitching he's facing there, and they, they were tough on him. Jim, this is dating back to last year. You guys seem to have a lot of problems getting Ryan Howard. Now he can't, he continues to do damage. Why is I mean, is there a way you can stop? Him? Um, you know, selectively, we got a few guys who've had some success against him. Um, you know, it's, you know, there's, there's a couple guys who have gotten him out, but, uh, the overall picture there is he's just hurt us. You know, we've, we, we've tried some different things on him and, and, uh, you know, it's a game of adjustments. He's making adjustments on, on our pitching and our pitchers will try to do something else, but he's just, he's just so dangerous. I mean, you know, he's in that. Uh, select group of power hitters that um, the, you know that's why they hit 40 to 50 a year they're they're that good and you just you got to try to figure out um, when not to pitch to them maybe just try to get the next guy but uh, you know in most cases the next guy is really good also um, you know worth is came into this series uh, real real good against our or his first two pitchers, his numbers are outstanding against those guys. So there, there's really, uh, you know, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place there with those guys. Jim Walker, we saw him struggle a lot in spring training, but it looked like toward the end he started to get it going, and certainly tonight he pitched pretty well. Too. Yeah, he did. He, he pitched better as the spring went on and, uh, you know, kind of came out of nowhere to, to be on the club from where he started out in the spring and, uh, you know, made a nice showing for himself tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he'll be, sure be sore tomorrow. You know, that ball caught him on the calf pretty good. But uh, I, th I think he'll be okay. Guzzi getting the triple for you, Jim. That's nice to see get him get a base hit. How's his arm doing as he works back? He's, he's doing fine. He's, Guzzi's back. You know, he, Guzzi is, is such a good player. You know, he, uh, he's, he, he, he had a good spring. He's playing good now. He's uh, he's he's really working hard before the game. Tonight was kind of a, you know, you hate to be down in a ball game, but trying to find a silver lining. We we were down three or four runs, and that was an opportunity to get him a few innings in the outfield and with the lights on. And uh, he's he's getting more and more comfortable out there. So we're just going to try to get his bat in there anywhere and everywhere we can. And um, so um, you know, say to hate to see Mike come out of the ball game, but it it. Um, it gave us a chance to get Guzzi a couple of bats, and um, you know he's he's probably going to be in there tomorrow somewhere. Which calf was it? Truth, I'm not sure which calf it was. Um, I, I, I'd be guessing. Okay, yeah, thanks.